Quick reminder that applications are now open for Team Golf Star. It only happens once per year. If you enjoy the content on this channel and you feel like you would be a good fit to help grow this platform, consider applying to join Team Golf Star. Links down in the description as well as a link to last week's video where we explain all the details about Team Golf Star. Go and check it out. Now let's get into today's video. Chris Gall, Trip South Dakota, came into the weekend in third. I can't I'm so and I'm gonna take a trail in the world. I gon' love you. Yeah, I'm gonna love you. Goes 496, 4, 495 dial at golf, taking seventh out at the strike. Cross my heart and hope to die. The Golf Star TV YouTube channel. If you haven't watched it yet, you best be paying attention after this. They make incredible content. I think for like the first time ever, the old man came to my house to help make a video instead of the other way around, but. Are you excited about this package? Yes, I am. This is, this is a big one, you guys. Sneak peek what's inside of this box. Can you see that? Can you read that? It says, go get them in 21. Let's go. Let's open this baby up. I can't believe you didn't open this without it, me. It was tough. I wanted to really bad. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that. First of all, a bunch of get them stickers. Holy moly. If you guys don't know what's in this box by now, uh, you're in for a surprise, you guys. This is <laughs> this is this is gonna be a thing of beauty. Oh, I see some all-American made billet aluminum coming out of the box already. Adapter plate. It's a nice looking piece. Let's not mess around. Let's not mess around, you guys. You have to hit that over to get the whole thing out. Woo! There we go. You guys, ready? The moment is finally here. Close, we are getting closer. You guys, all of the cool the swag that you get. Look at the, uh, this is a helmet visor banner thing. For the ring. If you guys have any questions at all about carburetors, leave your questions down in the comment section below. Love to hear from you guys, and I'd love to get those answered by the man himself, Trevor, from Get em Performance. I'm so excited. You guys, here's the teaser. There's the teaser right there. It's all murdered. It's murdered out. It's murdered. It's black. Straight murder. Woo! Yeah, I was thinking when the same king the box was actually kind of small. I figured, man, they don't have this pack that great. It, it's packed. It's not going to get hurt. Oh, my. Dang. Oh, dolly. Wow. I got the world champ on the phone. What's up, buddy? What's up, Tom? Go. How you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Dude, I like the Pretty gear. Good. I like the gear. I got a little of that going on myself. Hey, I need a cap, man. Where'd you get that from? Man, you just call him up. You know how it is. I, I'm gonna have to call. I need a shirt like that, but I think I got to do a little bit more winning to get one of them. <laughs> they only give that to the winners. On that, man. They don't give them away. Dude, sure don't. check this out, man. Hold up, pull up. I love it. That's awesome, man. Dude, you got a couple yeah, of these. You got a couple yeah. of these in your camp, am I right? I've, I've got four of those in my camp. You have four get em carbs. We have, we have four get em carbs. How long have you been running get em carburetors? Uh, I started running them back in uh, 2019. I, I had my motor rebuilt after the World Finals. Actually, it's a funny story. It's uh, when I won the World Finals, I was in a borrowed car, and that's because the camshaft was hurt in my motor, my 582. And uh, so as soon as I got home from that, I pulled it out of my car, which was left in the shop during the trip, you know, and I uh, sent it off, and we got it back, uh, put some bigger heads on it, and it wasn't running much faster. 
so I needed the carburetor. Come to find out, the carburetor I had wasn't it wouldn't flow enough. So uh, uh, my engine builder actually turned me on to get them and mm-hmm. Trevor. So I called him and uh, ended up buying a carburetor. It sent me up with a sixteen hundred CFM uh, alcohol carburetor, and I haven't turned back since I got it. You still running alcohol? Yeah, alcohol. Yeah, this is a gas carb, but dude, what makes you what makes you like get them carbs? You know so much that you went ahead and you went and you you did the whole operation you got four of them now well when i first got mine i uh, just i didn't have to touch it i put it on the car and we started going rounds with it i mean it, re- it repeats numbers it's it's beautiful first off when i took it out of the box i was just blown away just like you were you know <laughs> we dude, talked about her. the attention uh, to detail man oh my gosh yeah. it's just a thing it's a piece of jewelry yeah it, it's gorgeous so I, I loved it when I took it out of the box and saw it, and uh, then I saw how it performed. It picked my car up with my small carburetor. I was running a tenth slower than what I should have been, and I put another another brand carburetor on that I borrowed from a friend of mine, and it picked me up about eight hundreds. And uh, that's when I decided that I definitely needed a bigger carburetor. That was definitely what was holding the motor back. And uh, that's when I ordered to get them. And when I got to get them, it actually outran that borrowed carburetor by three more hundred so it picked me up a a whole tenth wow uh, on the car i put the big carburetor on and uh so it 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 performed there it's just it's just nasty it's the only way to really describe the carburetor and the performance of it on the car so yeah i love that aspect of it what are your first thoughts dad wow (laughs) i don't know how i'll take a cap off of the end yeah to change the jets but the the float actually comes with that too in case you're having any needle and seat issues. You don't have to take everything off all the way down to the metering block. Just take that cap off. It splits right here. And here. And here. You know, like a normal one back there. Sure. Okay. Wow, and the dual blade design. Yeah, the, the, the twin blade design provides optimal flow. Uh, what they're trying to do is minimize the low pressure area underneath the carburetor you know, relative to a traditional four-barrel design. The bullet holes must be set up to run both 4150 and the Dominator. The The air cleaner size almost looks like it's from the 4150. That's why you have this big adapter plate on to fit all your scoops or air cleaners or whatever. So it's really like optimizing a smaller design. I've never seen anything like this. If it works half as good as it looks, this is going to be something. <laughs> this thing looks this phenomenal, bad. you guys. I can't get over how it looks. The, the full billet design is just blows me away. Everything, like you said, the attention to detail of the two-piece bowls makes jet changes super easy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, and he, on top of that, Trevor makes everything in his shop. Uh, if he can make it, he does. And, uh, you know, I like that, you know, so. American made, yeah, man. That's what Speaking about Trevor, um, you know, you probably have a little bit more experience working with him than I do, but I mean, just talking to him on the phone, uh, it sounds like customer service is is right there. You know, it's on point. Uh, do you have any experience? Have you met Trevor face to face then? Or Yeah, I met Trevor at the Great American Million last year. Uh, him and his two sons actually drove down uh, from where they live to Memphis. And uh, I, he seen me in the staging lanes and immediately recognized me and came up and introduced himself. And, I mean, uh, and we just hit it off the end. And uh, th- within the next two hours, he had both his both his sons underneath my car changing the converter with me. So we hit it <laughs> off really good. He didn't hesitate to help. How, as far as customer service with the car carburetor, when I got it, which I've never had any trouble with it. I mean, when I bolted it on, it was ready to go. I did a couple jet changes, but in the end, I ended up right back where it was when it came out of the box and uh but i mean from the start he always offered he's you know he said if it's not right if we can't figure it out i'll get on a plane and fly down to where you're at and come to the racetrack and we will get the carburetor right so that's what he told me too and that blows my mind i mean that that's a new level of customer service like i've never had that kind of experience yet i mean most likely it's going to work out of the box if it does not give him a call he'll get it working and if there's still problems if there's still trouble he's going to get on a plane and get it right for you he's going to make it right absolutely there's a, a great attention to detail in every piece of this thing and the air blades are all different they're not just a plain jet they're 
the cut scored like an X on the top, I suppose, just to give you a, a better area of flow, almost like a Venturi coming into that. You guys, they manufacture every single piece of what you're looking at in-house. This is American made. They make all of the jets. They make all of the air bleeds. And of course, they do all of the machining and put this incredible looking all billet aluminum carburetor together. And it's all American made. It's all done in-house. It's incredible. No Chinese junk. That'll be nice. Well, and like where all of the spots are plugged on the metering block where they drilled circuits, it looks like they have uh, an Allen headed screw, you know. So if them things ever get plugged or some of us don't put things away the way we should and they get corroded inside, you know, it could be easily, you know, you don't have to worry about things getting trapped in there. You can get to everything. I kind of like to take it apart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they don't want us doing that right off the bat. Again, if you guys have any questions at all about carburetors in general or get them performance carburetors specifically, leave them down in the comment section below. I'm going to be bringing Trevor onto the channel to answer your questions, but you got to put it down in the comments first. Kind of looks, I'm not sure, but it looks to me like when you take this little bowl cap off the end here, but that's what this long O-ring and screws are spares for. So it's O-rings. So you don't have to worry about wrecking mm, any gaskets yeah. when you pull that off to jet it. Yes, they did mention that to me. I that's an yeah. awesome deal because we all know what that's like. When you're trying to change jets, you tear a gasket, you don't have having the right one. Oh, that's looks like from what you can see, some great ideas went into this. I just can't stop smiling at it because it's <laughs> a thing of beauty. You say that's the jewelry of the whole thing. You know, at some of the big races we've been at, I've seen these carbs in the late rounds, you know. They stick out. You can yeah. walk by the car and see the red and white emblem there. I'm excited about this. I can't wait to try it, especially after you're talking like it pick you up a 10th. Wow, that's that's insane. If it picks my car up a 10th, yeah. if, my, if my dad sees this pick up my car a 10th, he gonna be on the phone getting his own. That's what's gonna happen. I, mark my words, I bet you it happens. <laughs> I'm glad you finally got your hands on one. You won't be disappointed. Awesome. All right, thanks man. I'll talk to you soon. Alright Tom, we'll see you later. Alright, later dude. What do you think dad? Can't wait to try it. Can't wait. Are you a little bit jealous right now? Wow. Always jealous, you get all the good stuff. <laughs> Come on! Thank you so much! to get them performance for sponsoring this video. Their links are down in the description. Go and check out their website. Go and see what they have to offer. And do not forget, utilize discount code GALLSTAR5. Get yourself 5% off on anything Get em Performance. Do not forget to leave your carburetor questions in the comments below so that I can bring Trevor himself onto the channel to answer your guys' questions about carburetors and fuel systems. With that being said, that wraps up another video. If you enjoy this video, whomp on the like button. If you didn't enjoy this video, whomp twice on the dislike button. Visit the Gallstar TV swag shop to support the creation of more videos on this channel. And, and, I will see you guys in the next video later. We had a bowl that actually had a flaw, a casting flaw in it and it would keep running over all the time. Change needle and seats and you always think you got it and it would start doing it again. That was a flaw in the casting. Another one of those good Chinese castings. I don't think we'll have to worry about that with these billets.